Thank you for choosing OpConnect Managed Wireless Solutions. Whatever your device, we're here to keep it connected. In today's video, we're gonna be going through a few simple steps that will make sure that that device has the best uptime possible. We'll be going through a site survey, how to unbox and install your equipment, and how to ensure that your device has a connection. If for whatever reason, you run into any problems down the road, please give us a call. We have technicians available 24 seven. You can reach us at 877-678-3343. Option number three for tech support. Now that you've received your OpConnect device, you're gonna be taking it to the location that you have selected. It's important to do a site survey to make sure that your device is gonna get the best possible signal. If you haven't done a site survey already, we'll kind of walk through the steps of how to do so. Your cell phone is actually a very good indicator of any potential problems that there might be in the area. You can use it to check the signal strength and you can do that easily by looking at the bars on your cell phone itself. Another great resource is talking to the people at the location. They work here, they visit here frequently. They know where there are any potential problem spots. They may even be able to identify the exact corner of the building that you're at that gets the best reception. For you, that means that might be where you need to place the OpConnect device itself. Once you have received your OpConnect device, it's important to inspect the contents of the box. Included, you will find the OpConnect unit itself, a dual lead magnetic base antenna. However, if you did order the OpConnect Milo, it will come with a singular lead magnetic base antenna. You will also find an ethernet cable, as well as a five volt DC power supply. It is crucial that you use the included five volt power supply as using any other power supply will potentially cause damage to the device and void any warranties on the unit itself. When it comes to installing the OpConnect device, there are a few key tips that will help to make sure that your device has the best connection experience possible. These tips will include placing the device in a secure location to avoid any unauthorized access, placing the antenna in a vertical orientation and outside or on top of any metal enclosures. Try to avoid placing the OpConnect device and its antennas away from any potential devices that may cause interference. These may include refrigeration equipment, condensers, compressors, and neon signs. Whether your device has one or two antenna ports, you'll wanna make sure that the lead itself is secure to those fittings as so. The next step is to plug in the power cable. Once it's connected to your wall outlet, take the barrel end of the connector and plug it into the device. If you're using an OpConnect model similar to this, it will have a different power supply connection. In the box, it will have a brick adapter along with an AC cord. The first step is to make sure that this part of the AC adapter is securely on the brick. After you have plugged the power cable into the wall outlet, you will then want to connect it to the OpConnect device itself. If your power supply does have a locking mechanism, you will want to secure that into the OpConnect device as shown and twist lock the cable into place. This will ensure that it does not come out in the event of manipulating the device. Once you've connected power to the device, that will start the boot up process. Once the boot up process has finalized, it is now time to connect your ethernet cable. When doing so, make sure you connect it into the port, listen for the click, that ensures that the device is connected and there will be an indicator light indicating. Once your OpConnect is all the way connected, you're good to go ahead and secure the OpConnect in your secure location. In this case, the OpConnect Milo has a magnetic attachment for easy installation. When you place the OpConnect device inside your equipment, please try to put the OpConnect label so it is facing upwards, so if you do have to call in for support, we're able to access the serial number. As part of our fully managed wireless solutions, we take care of all of your security and software needs. During the initial boot up, the OpConnect device will go through and apply these updates. Depending on the environment, it may take anywhere from two to three minutes. This next part is crucial. Do not power cycle or unplug the device during this initial boot up process. After the unit has gone through and applied its update, it will reboot on its own. This may take an additional two to three minutes. If after 10 minutes, you do not see lights on the device or your connected equipment is not communicating, do not hesitate to give tech support a call. Some of our OpConnect devices have a reset button. This can be found next to the status light or next to the power cable. 
do not reset the device unless instructed by one of our technical support agents. Depending on the OpConnect model, it will have one or two Ethernet ports for your connected equipment to get that connection. With the Ethernet ports on our OpConnect devices, either the single or the dual port models, they are interchangeable. However, if additional Ethernet ports are needed, you are welcome to use an unmanaged switch to provide additional Ethernet connection opportunities. Once the OpConnect has finished its initial boot up, you are now ready to connect your equipment. Now that you're connected, it is now time to test your equipment. If you are performing transactions, do a test transaction. If you're looking for any specific network information, verify that the network looks as it should. If during your testing you run into any error codes, please note those error codes as they will be needed later on. If the network doesn't match up with what you should be seeing, take the time to power cycle your connected equipment. A common scenario we run into is when your connected equipment that was previously set up hasn't dropped the network settings. A simple fix, power cycle the connected equipment and it should pick up the OpConnect network. If you know that your equipment should be set up on a static IP, Take the time to verify that the information is correct. If at any point during this whole process, you run into any problems, things aren't looking the way they should, or you just want to call to confirm, do not hesitate to give us a call. We have technical support agents available 24 seven. We're found at 877-678-3343, option number three for tech support.